All right, team, welcome back to the channel, man. I'm stoked to see you. So, yeah, I think that there is there, there is an issue that I think plagues uh, or can plague any organization. And when this kind of creeps in, it, it can just, it can destroy trust. It can destroy cohesion. It can bring a lot of questions uh, about the leadership from the bottom to the top, and the, and then it, obviously it, it seems like there's a lot of questioning going on from the top to the bottom. So I want to talk about this as well as probably the number one thing that all of us, you and I, that we can do right now to combat this. Right. So let's break this down. All right. So we had, there was a book written uh, uh, quite a few years ago called "The Earth Is Flat." And, uh, and I'll try to leave a link down in the description uh, if you want to check this out. And, you know, it, it's more of a, a political science uh, type of book, and it's a, it's a great book. Um, and in it, the author uh, discusses flat communications. I think it's been kind of a, a buzzword in, in a few places that, that, that I've heard, I've picked up. You know, I think buzz phrases, they come and go. Right. For a while in the military, we you know we had back to the basics, and uh, but flatten, flattening communication seems to be uh, a leadership philosophy that a lot of people are, are bringing on, and it's nothing really. It's nothing new. You know, and I'll explain that here in a second. But people, uh, leaders, I think with, with good intentions. They want to, they, they just want to know, right? They just want the best uh, for the people in their organization. They, that's what they say, right? And a lot of times I think that's probably true. I, I just want the best for everybody in my team, in my organization. And so I want to flatten communications and I want to reach down and I want to make sure that everybody knows how I feel. I want to make sure everybody knows what I am thinking, what I am saying so that there's no misunderstanding. And I need the most accurate, up-to-date information. So I'm going to reach all the way down. And I'm going to figure out the answers that I'm looking for that are unfiltered, that are unbiased, so that I can bring that back up and help navigate this ship. In so many ways, I, I think it sounds pure to, to, to leaders and, and to uh, someone who's trying to develop their own leadership philosophy and how they want to do leadership. They just want what's best, right? But friends, this can be an issue uh, that will plague an organization. Ultimately, what we're talking about, you know, is micromanagement, Right? And that works, right? Micromanagement works. Flattening communication this way works, where we just we squash everybody down. That works. It can be effective. A lot of times it is effective. But it comes at a cost. And so when we go back and we try to understand our, our values, our virtues, our beliefs, when we try to live out and flesh out what we believe are our virtues, we have to understand that why. Why am I doing what I am doing? And if it's for uh, selfish reasons, then obviously micromanagement works. But I don't think most people get into the leadership business because they're selfish. I think we generally want uh, for others to have... Uh, a, a better life. I think we genuinely want the organization to do better. Which means ultimately that we're, we have to understand that we're servants. Servants of something bigger than, than what you and I are. And, you know, so micromanagement, it that erodes that that idea this ideal that 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 the organization the people where we're going is bigger than us 
this leadership philosophy that we're talking about, it destroys and erodes it. It calls us as liars when this is our approach. Now, what what can what can good people like you and I do when we're stuck in the grind? We're stuck in a system, and there's it's cyclic, right? It's systematic. This is a systematic issue, right? That comes in, and a lot of times it feels like there's like man, like there's nothing that that you and I can do about it. And to a certain degree, that's true. And that's, that's the key to this, to knowing and understanding the most important thing that you and I can do. And what that is, my friends, is to know what we can control, know what's at our, at our fingertips, know, know what we are charged in our duties and responsibilities to do, and do just that. Maybe you're a team leader and you're responsible for three guys. And and you have your job, right? You have your team, you have your equipment, you have your 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 day-to-day tasks. Do the best job that you can of being present, taking care of the missions that you have to which will in turn better the organization. Do that and know that it's not your job to run their team down the hall. We're kind of talking about being content, about being patient. Because once we start to... to, to get in our head that that we know the right way. If they would just do things our way, then we're kind of casting on them the exact same judgment that we're accusing them of, or we're putting that back on ourselves, right? Do what you can by what's in your charge. Keep learning some more things along the way, and then when your position of of leadership enlarges, then carry that forward and put it to good use. It's not an easy road to take, because the easy road to take is to complain and to whine and, and to belittle, to talk down on, and to not take ownership. Those are the easy things to do. But man, if you are in a leadership position, that is exactly what we cannot do. We cannot do those things. When the opportunity arises, you know, consider how you you may want to bring about your, raise your issues or your concerns and have a, have a way forward, right? Have a solution. And maybe... Maybe along the way you've been doing a, a, a well enough a job telling your story, telling the, your soldier stories or, or whoever you have that's working for you to such a degree that your name and your integrity mean more and it opens up other people to hear you. Mm. It's a long game. But it's a game that we all need to play. All right, team, I hope you enjoyed the content of the conversation. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. If you think somebody else would find some value in this conversation, then consider sharing it with them. Leave some comments down below. We'll keep this conversation rolling. As always, until then, you stay out there, you keep grinding, and you stay stoked.